So I'm watching this video on the prosthetic nose. I don't know if I want to do this. Oh Jesus. I don't know how people do this. Am I scary? All right, now that we look insane. Okay, so here we are. It's so patchy, I don't like it. How do I do this? This, it's not working. Spirit Halloween too expensive for you to have crap products like this. Come on now, be real with yourself. My ear is itching and I can't get it. We look good, girl. <laughs> I won't do this again, but we look good. Twins. <laughs> Alright y'all, let's get ready. I was supposed to do this the day of the Halloween party that I told y'all about in the last video, but that was really hectic, like really hectic. I didn't even vlog the party, I was supposed to vlog the party too. I didn't even do that, it was so hectic. So I didn't film me doing my costume, but I didn't even have time to do it all the way because there was so much going on. We were late getting started. I was trying to do a whole lot of run around, decorating, making my dessert. It was just a mess. So I insert the picture of the makeup that my cousin did though. She had like some quick makeup on me. So I was somewhat little put together. I had some blue on my face, but yeah, we went with that just for something quick, but I was supposed to do my entire face blue, my contacts, my prosthetic nose, my ears, all of that. So I didn't have time to do any of that, but today is Halloween. Our party wasn't the day of Halloween, it was Halloween weekend. So I was like, well, I always have Halloween to do it and just actually do it full out and I don't have any plans for Halloween, so I'm gonna do it now. So first thing I'm gonna do is my hair. I didn't even have time to do my hair for the party. Like I was supposed to wash my hair and everything, didn't have time to do that. So I'm just gonna do like some braids i just had my hair twisted up in the sections that i washed it in so i'm just taking that loose i really want to do a tiktok but like i don't feel like doing it step by step like, i just want to do like a before and after type of tiktok like transition so i might see what i can find with that my sister just left to go get candy in case we had trick-or-treaters but i was like girl nobody coming here people used to come here like when we were growing up we used to go around trick-or-treating but don't nobody do that no more i think last year we had like one trick-or-treater and it was my cousin but i don't know it's kind of sad like i kind of want the trick-or-treaters to come back like now that i'm older and i'm not a trick-or-treater like you know like i want to give out the candy and don't nobody do that no more like what's going on let me brush my eyebrows because what the world i just woke up i hope this goes well because i've never worked with prosthetics so i'm kind of scared there's all my avatar stuff that i wore to the party except the contacts i didn't put the contacts in my eye was irritated. Okay, here's my prosthetic nose. Where are my ears? Ears. Okay, let me see what TikTok I can do first. Okay, I did my TikTok. Let's see, I'm gonna part this ear to ear. Okay, so I'm just gonna like randomly braid the back. We're getting there, we're getting there. All right, I got the back braids done. So now I'm gonna cornrow the front going this way. These cornrows make it on my nerves. I don't cornrow. I've done it before, but I'm not good at it. I'm finna go in here and ask my mama to do the recipes. Okay, 
Hair is done. I ended up doing it myself. It don't look the best, but I really don't care. We'll add the beads and accessories later. So let's start on this face. So I'm watching this video on the prosthetic nose. I don't know if I want to do this anymore. I think I should just do regular paint and like contour wide to make the nose look bigger. This is like too much going on. I really don't want to do all that, but I'm going to do the ears, but I don't know about this nose. I'm gonna try the nose on. I just wanna see what it look like, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna wipe my face with some alcohol. It's so close to my eye. I don't know. I mean, it look like it seemed like it's too wide. I think I could trim it. I don't know. Should I do it? I don't know if I should do the prosthetic, but I'm gonna try to put in these contacts. I don't even know how to put contacts in. Ugh. It's been 11 minutes. I got one in. Of course the camera cut off as soon as I got it in too. I got one in. I'm not, I don't know if I should leave it in like while I do the rest of my makeup so I don't mess my makeup up trying to get them in. I'm gonna try putting the other one in just to see how it look. Ooh, Jesus. I don't know how people do this. Okay, so let's try and put the other one in. This is creepy looking. <laughs> Mm. See, I'm not like squeamish or anything when it comes to touching my eye. I just, it's just making my eyes water. This is so creepy. Okay, I'm getting used to them now. Am I scary? I'm kind of starting to feel like I should leave them in while I do my makeup because I'm starting to, like, they're starting to feel comfortable now. At first, I was like, ooh, like, I can tell they in there. I can still tell that they in there, but it's starting to feel better. It's so weird. <laughs> All right, I think I might leave them in, and I'm debating about this prosthetic nose. I don't know if I should do this. And then it's going to be in my eyebrow. I don't want glue or, like, adhesive in my eyebrow. I'm not sure if I should have trimmed the parts that I trimmed. <laughs> but I know that's, like, the thinned out part that, like, I lay against your skin. But that jump was poking me in my inner corner. It was too long. I might do the nose. I'm gonna map it out and see. So I mapped it out, so I'm just gonna go over my skin in that area one more time with some alcohol. Then I'll do the ears, and then we'll start doing the makeup part. I'm about to clip my hair up out of the way for the ears. I probably won't post my Halloween pictures of the day after Halloween, because it's already 11 o'clock. <laughs> so, for the adhesive, I'm using this right here. I got it off of Amazon, and it came with the remover, which is right here. So, I really don't know how I'm supposed to do this gonna I guess I'll take a sponge and I'll dip the q-tip in there and like apply it to the sponge I can't dip this whole sponge in there cuz it's too big dab it like that inside these lines well I feel like I should use q-tip anyway just to like really get up in these other areas I do not want to get this in my eyebrows like how strong is this stuff Say you're supposed to um like wait till this is clear. Kind of like lace glue. I'm familiar with that. I really do not want to put this stuff in my eyebrows. I don't know if you're supposed to or not supposed to. I'll put some on the edge of my eyebrow where it's supposed to like stop it. But that's it. All right, waiting on the rest of this to turn clear. Ooh, I'm scared.
Okay, I pretty much got the nose on. I'm just taking some scar wax that I had in this kit, this little kit I got off Amazon. So I'm just taking that to like fill in. I filled in right here where it wasn't like touching my skin all the way. So I filled that in. So hopefully that'll work. That was bugging me. Put down some more adhesive. The edges up here aren't blending as well as the sides. So I don't really know what to do about that. All right, now I'm gonna do these ears. I just outlined the ear, so now I'm gonna take some more adhesive. I'm gonna apply some on the back of the ear, on the inside, since I can't see behind my ear. All right, now that we look insane, we can start on the makeup finally. The ears actually were very easy. It's this freaking prosthetic nose that gave me the devil. All right, let's do this face. All right, so all the makeup I'm using, I got, well, like the paint I got from Spirit Halloween. I got these two and then this white cream makeup with the powder. I don't know if I need any of my makeup palettes, but let's see if I have any blue anywhere. This is purple. This is fall. Oops, this is the only blue I got. I think this Coastal Scents palette that has been through the mud. I've had this since like middle school. I remember when Coastal Scents was like the thing. Coastal Scents 88 palettes. This is 78 shadow blush palette. It's broken everything. I don't know if I need any of these colors like the blue. So I'm just gonna have this on standby. I'm gonna use the lighter blue and then I'm gonna put a little bit of the darker blue with it. I don't know. I really hope it blends around this because I'm a little nervous about that. First, I'm gonna put some of this adhesive because it said to like apply it to this or like so the paint will stick better i don't know that's what the video said so i guess i'll do that they said to just stipple it along the thing like this i don't know if i need to do the same thing with these ears or not Ooh, this is gold. Oh, we're gonna be here all day. This stuff is sheer. This is some horrible makeup. I don't even know how to blend this. It's like, cause see like this thing came off. It's so patchy, I don't like it. How do I do this? I think I should take it off. I think I should start over. I don't know what to do about this. I'm, I think I'm gonna take it off and start over. Cause I don't know. Y'all, I don't take this makeup off and start it over like three or four times. I don't know why this stuff don't blend right. I think it's just, just crap makeup. This spirit Halloween stuff, 
Mm -mm. I knew I should have ordered this stuff off of Amazon that people was recommending if you're doing cream makeup. I was like, oh, maybe it'll be all right. No, do not buy that stuff. It don't blend right. It don't, it's like, it's just real patchy. Like if you try and go over it, it just picks the product back up off your face. Like you see all that patchy. Mm -mm. So I'm just gonna do these ears really quick. We'll try and fix this later, but I'm gonna do these ears. Um, I'm just gonna put some micellar water in like one of these pinkish shades. I need to take a look at the color of the ears. I hope this even works. Oh, I think it's working. Maybe that's what I need to do with my face, is just use one of these eyeshadow palettes, cause this, it's not working. And this is like working perfectly. So I'm mixing this dark blue right here and this pink. I'm gonna wipe this off my face and we're gonna try it with eyeshadow. Let's see if that helps. So I'm gonna outline the ears in the same dark blue. Let's see, is that? Too dark. Maybe I should mix this blue and this blue, or this blue, or all three. I feel like I need to make the inside of the ears lighter now. I feel like I went too dark. Let's try this again with this face. I'm thinking maybe I should do a white base first, maybe. I don't know, let's try that. Okay, I'm gonna set this with one size powder, my translucent powder. Okay, so here we are. I'm just mixing these three shades right here. Okay, we might be getting somewhere. We might be getting somewhere. Yes. I know next time to get the high-end cream makeup and not that Spirit Halloween stuff. And Spirit Halloween too expensive for you to have crap products like this. Come on now, be real with yourself. But I know next time to get that um, brand. And I had looked up that brand too, but I was like, maybe I'll be all right with the Halloween store makeup. No. Yeah, next time I'm gonna get that brand off of Amazon. It's like way better, way more pigmented, way easier to blend. But this eyeshadow trick, micellar water. So if you had that issue and you got an eyeshadow palette, drop some micellar water in the uh, in the shadow and get to it. I should have did this from the beginning. Try and blend this into the ears. It's probably gonna be a mess to take off, but I'd rather do this, deal with this, than this freaking. Let me go ahead and put this in the trash. This cream makeup, never again. Whole thing, both of them, trash. <laughs>
Yeah. I thought of this technique because I used to see people do like color eyeliner with eyeshadow and that's how they did it. And it looked pretty pigmented. So I was like, maybe this will work for like a face paint. And it is. Now I could have been done two hours ago if I had just thought of this sooner. I tried it sooner because I actually did think of it. I just didn't try it. I was like, that's not gonna work. That's too much. And then do you see how little these shadows are i'm like this ain't gonna cover my whole face this is so much easier getting up in these creases and crevices too i know next time i want to take my pictures outside i want to be done earlier in the night so that somebody could come out there with me so i could take them like close to the woods so i could see my like, you know on the hunt you know what i'm saying but everybody's sleep now so i'm gonna go out there by myself i hope i don't look ugly because i think avatars are kind of pretty and like, I feel like this nose is making it ugly. Like the ones that I see on TikTok, you know, they be pretty, but they don't have a prosthetic nose. The nose, I feel like is making it like too much. You know, they nose do go like this, but theirs look better than this. put some paint on this prosthetic. I kinda wanna put some in my heart, but I just washed my hair. I'm gonna try and do it like real neat. And I could just wipe it out. My ear is itching and I can't get it. Let me do my pink on the nose. I feel like I need to go over all this with like a powder or something, like a lighter shade. Cause I feel like I'm a, I'm very blue. Let me see my costume. I don't know. Just taking this powdery blue shade right here. Seeing if that'll help. I don't like how lumpy the freaking prosthetic nose looks, but when I take the pictures, I'll just smooth it out anyway. Like when I edit it. Actually, I need to do highlight. That's what I need to do with that same shade. I really could do that with that shade. Like highlight the areas that I would if I were to do like actual makeup, like, you know, people makeup, not the avatar makeup. I'm use that same shade and a little bit of white to see if I can do like some highlight. All right, I think that's about as good as I can do. Actually, let me do the center of my eyelid. Okay, now let's do the stripes. It's coming together.
give her some lip liner with the same shades I did on the stripes. Taking the lighter blue shade, going in the center. Now I'm gonna do some liner, some mascara, and some lashes, and then the little white dots. I don't know what I'm gonna do that with because I need something more pigmented than this. We look good so far. We look good, girl. <laughs> I won't do this again, but we look good. I wish I had a blue, like a dark blue eyeliner to put in my waterline, but I don't, so we're gonna use black. It's okay. Let's test out these white dots. Got this one, the Spirit Crayon, but it's not that pigmented. This is the Sephora brand eyeliner pencil, just white. I just use like a small brush to dip in it because it's not way to the nubby. Let's do these dots. I feel like I should get my dotting tool out of my nail kit. Okay, now I just need eyeliner and lashes. Yee! Bring this blue down some. I think I put too much pink. I put the pink too high up. Bring it down some. Let's do some mascara. These lashes are the Juvia's Place lashes in Kush. My favorite pair of lashes right now. They're always sold out of it. I don't like that. And I need a new pair because this one has been through it. And I'm using Trusty Dusty Duo Lash Glue. Period. Okay, we're done. Just gotta do our little hair accessories and put the costume on. But the face is done. I was a little scared because she was looking a little scary. I was like, this avatar is not cute. And I think the avatars are cute, but she came together. So I got beads and feathers for my hair. I don't know how to put beads in my hair. So I should probably figure that out. I can't put the feathers in. I got the feathers, the hair feathers, and the beads off of Amazon. I'll link everything that I ordered below so y'all know because I showed in name nothing. I got the ears and the nose off of Etsy. I got these contacts from 
Moco Queen. I have the link where I got the costume from itself. I got the necklace off of Etsy. Twins. Okay, I don't have one of those little bead feeder tools, so I'm just gonna use a zip tie. Try it that way. I gotta get my hair through here first. Okay, that worked. Then you suppose the rubber band at the end. Cute. Okay, we're all done. Beads are in, feathers are in. So let's put the costume on. Okay, so I'm gonna tie this around. This was one of them like wrap around skirts. I wore this in Hawaii, I think, um, but I just cut it. And I got this off of Shein. My arrows, my bow is over here, but I got my bow and arrows from Etsy. It has a loop on this, so I'm gonna just like stick this through here so it'll stay, and then I'll tie it. Okay, my feather necklace. I got this off Amazon. Oof. And I got this bracelet right here. I think this bracelet came from the beauty spa store. I got this like five years ago. Can't forget my tail. And that's it. So I'm gonna go take my pictures. I'll insert them so y'all can see. Actually, no, you got to go to my Instagram to see them if you want to see them. Yeah, go follow me on there. But yeah, y'all, this was a challenge. It was a challenge. But since it was my first time working with prosthetics, I know what I'm doing now. And the issue with the cream makeup, I feel like I could do it faster next time. But it's been, how long I've been doing this? Almost 12 hours, so. Yeah, but I'm done. That is my avatar costume. Now let me know what y'all think of it below. Let me know how I did. I know it's not perfect, so don't do too much. But I feel like I did really good. I'm really proud of it. So yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think, what y'all thought of the video, this type of content. Let me know what you wear for Halloween if you dressed up. But yeah, y'all, that is it for this video. Hope y'all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.